What's going on, guys? My name's Will Baldwin, and this is Paul Guado with us for the Second Stringers podcast. Welcome, Paul. Hey, Welcome. Will. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> I'm glad to finally get this started. We've been talking about this for a long time. Yeah, probably at least months in the making, if not a Hon- year at least. It's at least like it's it's long enough that it's kind of embarrassing. It's taken this long. Yeah, like if, if it's, we're, it's working out. We got it going. <laughs> It's time that we started recording these ridiculous phone calls we have that extend three hours and we talk about nothing, but somehow it's something. Always make it to be uh, interesting, to say the least. Always have a good back and forth. But I mean, I think they're interesting. You think they're interesting. Hopefully someone else thinks they're interesting, so we're not just like <laughs> recording this for no reason. But uh, let's get this started. This is called the Second Stringers Podcast because... Paul and I really came to be friends. Like, we were friends in grade 10. We met in grade 10 at Western Canada High School in Calgary. But we really came to be friends on the grade 11 little senior team for Western Canada's football. And we came to be friends because we were the scout team heroes or second stringers. And, um, yeah, we bonded over the, our lack of talent and playing time. And lack of playing time, yeah. <laughs> Being stuck behind unbelievable seniors shout out emerson padley yeah that was unfair <laughs> that was uh we don't talk about that one around here anymore that's that's old news shout out the guy who got his name chanted every single game great guy yeah. great guy also shout out connor wicklam quarterback great guy <laughs> solid guy <laughs> would hand me the ball maybe twice a game if i'm lucky you know hey at least you're getting in the game right true that's all that matters. Yeah, basically, we bonded over the fact that our coaching staff would like be like, yo, Will and Paul, you guys are really good. But also, we're not going to play you because for some reason, we're going to keep you as backups for positions that have actual good players, and then we're going to play bad players at other positions. And then we just kind of look at each other like, wait, that makes no sense. And just wouldn't play. It was great. And, not to uh, throw anybody else under the bus, of course, but I mean, it was, uh, it was not the greatest time but we still had a uh, good time riding the pine that year for sure i'm not gonna add anyone who was playing above us but uh shout out randy the offensive coordinator who openly told me that he just wanted to play grade 12s even though he knew i was better than them Legend. not bitter this is four years ago and it's not bitter that's for sure it's just life you know <laughs> so um now that we've done, we're done humiliating ourselves for not being good at sports and have to talk about them now because we can't play them anymore. Um, Paul, where do you go to school? Uh, I just finished my first year at Carleton out in Ottawa. It's a uh, pretty good school, a ton of fun. What program are you in? Global development, but we'll see if that changes. So Paul clearly knows what he's talking about sports-wise because he's in global development. Hundred percent. I uh, I live on the sports Twitter, you know. <laughs> I wish I took school more seriously, but I mean, Skip and Shannon are a little bit above. So, I mean, I think I think I realized in the last year that Skip is just like he just doesn't care anymore. Like he used to like he used to not care. Like I don't ever get it twisted. He he used to not care. But, like, now you can just tell he's just, like, I'm going to try and bother as many people as I can on Twitter. And he's, like, he's gone from, like, you should follow him to, like, you can't, like, almost turn notifications on for his tweets. Because he's good for about one. He's good for about one a day where you're just, like. Both of them, Skip and Shannon, are both legends. Both definitely should follow on Twitter. Shannon Don't know their ads, but they're legends. Shannon's, like, almost, like, the gif god. Like, I don't think I've ever seen anyone have more gifts created from just them being themselves. Legend. That's oh, all I can say. Just great guy. When he brings up the goat mask, couldn't agree with him more. <laughs> when, he, when he had the goat mask and he wore his LeBron jersey, he's like, there's, this guy's way too ripped up to be 50-something. Like, we, we could use him in New Orleans as a tight end. Like, I'm not, man. I'm not even going to deny it. He would not <laughs> start for us. <laughs> um... Man, I'd take him in Miami, too. Be a nice support player for uh, our new quarterback. We'll get into that later, of course. But 
Yeah. yeah, we're not talking about that one right now. Let's let that <laughs> one simmer a bit. <laughs> Wants to let the wound heal a little bit before he opens it up again. Exactly. You gotta you gotta let things simmer and give it some time, and then uh, we'll be back on that soon. But I mean, we got a good episode for today. We got a good couple segments. Yeah. Be talking about the NBA, the NHL, both playoffs, how crazy they are just in general, and how uh, it's kind of nice to have a team for once doing well in one of them. So we're talking about that, and we'll be talking about the UEFA Champions League and just soccer in general and the craziness of the past two weeks, three weeks. Won't get too technical with soccer, though, because um, I'm white and from Canada, so, like, come on, like... I, I'm not even going to act like I know that much. I just love watching it. I'm not even going to act it's like I'm, it's like it's too fun to watch that to not talk about, but I'm not going to act like I know when Tottenham should be in a 5 4 1 or a 4 4 2 here. Like, I'm not, not, I'm not going to. You're act, not a manager. I'm not, I, may, I may light up FIFA. I'm unbelievable FIFA, but that's just a weird flex, but okay. Dude, TFC number one in the Premier League. Don't even worry about it, how that's possible. <laughs> So quickly, my name's Will. I go to Ryerson. I'm in the journalism program for some reason. Um, <laughs> I'm in my third university because I like passing around. No, I'm once Brock for years, like sport management. Wasn't the full right program for me, so I switched programs. Unfortunately, switched late in the year, and in switching programs, Brock didn't have journalism, so had to switch schools. Miss those guys. Those are good guys over at Brock. Shout out Brock. Shout out Brock TV. Um, but I left super late, so I unfortunately couldn't get into Ryerson right away. So I had to do a year at Mount Royal in their journalism program. Really good program. If you're in Calgary looking at journalism, would highly recommend it. And um, use that year to get into Ryerson. And here I am after a year in Ryerson's prestigious journalism program that I'm totally going to flex right now because it's a huge deal. Living large in Toronto. Absolutely. Living the life. 25th floor high rise. No, not even a huge deal at all. That's for sure. Um, flex. Hey, okay, Paul, what are your favorite teams so that you can humiliate yourself further? Well, I, uh, I haven't had the best of luck recently or in my life. <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, the reason why sports are fun. Uh, big Dolphins fan. They've been my lifelong favorite team. Uh, no one's really sure. Gonna, that's, a, that's a tough go. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, hockey, I'm a diehard Leafs fan. have been my whole life because of my dad. And uh, hometown team, we're from Calgary. Got a cheer for the Flames. Been a fan for them for my life. Just a little bit under the Leafs. But... It's really unfortunate. Like It's like really not okay. Yeah, and then NBA, I've only started following over the past couple of years, to be honest with you, but I mean, I've always followed the Raptors when they were doing well when I was young, and now I've been following them more, and I'm a big Raptors fan, so it's nice to see a team do well for once. But In, in summary, Paul is desperate for positivity, so he's become a huge bandwagon fan. Which you kind of have to respect when you hear, like, Dolphins and Leafs fan. Like, that's tough. Like Definitely, I would not consider myself a bandwagon. I'd consider myself a... Uh, <laughs> Front runner. <laughs> not a front runner definitely but a uh a forerunner you know it's just uh i'm not winning the race but you know i'm just there so um nothing more nothing less my nfl team is the new orleans saints so uh, that's a lot of fun we only lose really heartbreakingly so I'm not a source of pain at all maybe we'll be talking about that next week it's not even I don't even question it every playoffs I mean, why I'm a Saints fan that's for sure um basketball I'm an official Raptors fan I was a closeted Raptors fan I was a closeted Raptors fan for a majority of my childhood because it's not like you want to go to school and flex that you watch Andrea Bargnani and TJ Ford play 70 games a year but like that's where I was for a point in my life so I just pretended to be a Lakers fan even no I was a Lakers fan I love Kobe but like I w- I've always been a Raptors fan. Um, almost threw my phone 
during the Rudy Gay trade, one of the weirdest moments of my life because it spurred this entire run now. Um, other football team is the Calgary Stampeders because the CFL is absolutely lit and Paul's missing out. It is a league. Diehard CFL fan right here. CFL, we will talk about it, even though Paul will have no idea. I'll just like talk about the CFL because I watch every Stamps game. Big CFL guy, of course, over here. I've been to uh, one game in my life, not a single touchdown scored. Love the league. Grew up 20-minute walk away from McMahon and have had season tickets my whole life. It is a bizarre passion at this point, especially in Toronto where everyone looks at you like, you know the CFL, like you know the NFL exists, like you don't have to watch that. Like That's the reaction I get all the time. It's, It's really great. It's really reassuring that people love our country and Follow it. Love our awesome football league. And um, in hockey, I'm a Habs fan because my first year as a goalie, yes, I was a goalie, so I'm better than Paul. Um, goalies are weird, man. Goalies are better. Shout out to all the goalies I have. <laughs> Shout out to all the goalies for being better people than you and uh, mm, choosing the lifestyle. Debatable. It's not even debatable. Hugely it's debatable. Not. We'll talk about that some other time. I'm writing that one down. <laughs> Why goalies are better than everybody else. An undebatable statement. Um, and my first year as a goalie was Carey Price's rookie year. And um, I'd watched him play in junior in Tri-City and was like, that guy's awesome. Then watched him in the World Juniors, like, that guy's really awesome. Then played my first year as a full-time goalie during his rookie year, and it was GG's for that. So I've been a Habs fan ever since. And um, an unfortunate Flames fan as well, like, I don't like admitting I'm a Flames it's fan. It's a little bit more unfortunate being a Habs fan, but <laughs> whatever. I mean, I don't even know at this point. It's like, it just kind of hurts everywhere. <laughs> like Life's not good. Like, the PK trade, that hurt. I'm still not over that. I have a PK Subban jersey that I bought four months before that trade. Still, still not over that. Never going to be over that. Um... And then just being a Flames fan, like, I just like watching regular season hockey because that's all that happens. Because we all know what happens when the playoffs happen, that's for sure. Yeah, it's a, yeah. It's not ideal, to say the least. It's, um, it hurts. We, like, honestly, why, why should you watch us? Because we know what pain feels like as a sports fan. We are uh, relatable sports fans. We... <laughs> Never made the league. <laughs> and uh, we just like sports. Yeah, just like we sports. follow them way too much at points. I it's debate not, whether not, if it's a problem. It's not even at points. Like, it's undisputed, not okay. I should have studied more, but sports definitely <laughs> take the advantage there. I should have studied. Uh, I probably know more about sports than my major. So I think that. <laughs> This is something that both Will and I are really passionate about. And as someone in year two of a major that I'm not even sure is real, shout out journalism, I definitely know more about sports than my major. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Journalism is not a joke. Um, Yeah, let's get into the real podcast, because I'm sure no one wants to hear about it at all, especially for 13 minutes. Rich with my brother